Hey, welcome back. This is Matt Faulkner with Elixir Practice Management. In this video, we're going to demo uh, a little bit about Elixir, kind of walk you through the screen, just kind of show you some of the features, um, you know, what we've built, and kind of orient uh, yourself to our screen. Um, once we've done this, we'll move on to another video where we'll show you another feature. So let's, uh, let's jump into the demo. Hang on. All right, so here we are in the Elixir screen. This is uh, Elixir built on top of Health Cloud. So there's a number of Health Cloud features here and a number of things that are Elixir features that are built on top of Health Cloud. So I'll take you through. This is the patient card. Um, we can upload a picture of a patient here. So we can add someone who just walked into our facility. I want to add his picture to the, the patient card. Um, we can see if he had any allergies or any alerts. There hasn't been anything registered in the system yet. Um, you'll see that there's a tab structure located across the top. This comes from the Elixir package. Um, so anything around admissions will be here. We'll go through that in another video. Ur urine analysis, you can collect specimens. You can allocate or transfer a, a patient from a bed um, or level of care. Uh, the nurse can update their allergies, vital signs, lab orders, nursing forms, medical observations, the doctors going to prescribe med medicine, um, referral forms, any assessments. Clinician uh, also has a number of assessments, ASAM forms, notes, care plans master problem lists, utilization review and benefits. Um, it'll review forms, so utilization review forms, encounters, claims data, discharge and transfer. So the case management team would, would leverage this to discharge and transfer patients, uh, do assessments with the patient, any master lists are here. Um, now this entire screen is customizable. So out of the box, you might see something, you know, of a field name that you're not really sure of. All of that is customizable. So Elixir, the big benefit of Elixir is that it's, uh, it, it's completely customizable to your processes. You know, most processes are pretty similar, most programs, um, but a lot of times there might be something that, that your program does that another might not. So we can customize that during, the normal configuration of your uh, of your platform that we would go through the first few weeks. Now you'll see that you're in console view here. This is something standard with Salesforce. So really anything you're looking for would be in this drop down list here. So I was in leads. Maybe I want to see the accounts. That would be the patient EMR records. Um, maybe I want to see the calendar and schedule something with uh, with the doctor. So there's a number of different things that we could do. I might want to look at the home page and see what's due today or a list of my current patients. So these are some things that you can find in this list here. Now you'll notice that there's a, a number of tabs across the top where typically you'd have tabs open across your screen. Now this is called console view. So if I'm, uh, let's say a clinician with multiple uh, patients and records and, and Know, in the past, I'm only able to open up one record at a time. Now, console view is going to allow you to have multiple patients open in your system at one time. So if I want to toggle over to Brian, who's also in my caseload, and take a note or maybe update um, maybe an allergy in his system or prescribe some medication, I can do that. And I can leave his record open. I can move back to Matthew. Maybe I'm doing some documentation with him as well. So this console view is pretty great. Um, any notifications that I'm going to get are going to pop up here, this little bell icon. So if I have an event, um, any kind of reminder or meeting, um, I'm going to be able to find any notification here. Um, so that is 
That is our Salesforce screen here. You can see that all of these, um, these uh, sections here open up and collapse. So maybe you don't want to see insurance details all the time, any UR information. Um, so you can actually collapse these. Uh, makes for a little slightly cleaner look. Um, so we keep those closed. Any activities in the system can be documented here. So every time there's an event or a calendar uh, or a task, anything that pops up in the system that you need to do with this patient, you'll see on this activity screen. Um, any household, um, this could be a related contact, could be a referral source, maybe the, the, um, uh, the primary care physician sent this referral to you and you want to keep track of this. So that's really important when you leverage something like um, a portal where you want to show this information to somebody outside of your system. Um, family contacts can be tracked here as well. Um, so you could basically build um, an entire household system so you can kind of track and see who's uh, associated with this patient. Maybe you want to schedule some family uh, appointment or something. Um, you got a visual timeline here. Um, so this is uh, any event that will pop up on this screen will show up in the timeline. Um, so we've got this one. Brian has some timeline uh, events. So this would be an assessment, some group therapy session, um, some exercise, some therapy, everything that kind of pops up. Um, that you can see and this timeline just keeps going. So these group therapy meetings are recurring events. So those show up on the calendar um, until they've been completed. Um, so that's the timeline view. And um, you can also see care plans, the active care plans in the system. If you wanted to review that, do a treatment plan review, that's all in the system. So that is uh, our quick orientation to the Elixir EMR screen, and we'll jump into another video here shortly uh, where we'll take you through the admissions process. All right, talk soon, thanks.